I'm trapped on this tiny island floating in the sky, and with nothing but our mystical witch abilities, we will turn this island into a thriving, magical place to live. Are you ready for the adventure? Oh no, now there's phantoms. What? No. We got our first diamond. Oh my god. So join me as we harness our magic powers and explore what this world has in store. Welcome to the Arcane Isles. So, let's do it. Oh, and then we gotta click on it. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god, and a tree. <gasps> that is so cool! Ah, okay, what's in our chest? We've got a spell book, awesome, and some apples. Oh, that's so cool. So it looks like we've unlocked something there. So now we've got our Ars Nouveau um, like instruction manual as well. A novice spell book. That's, oh, yep. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. And we have a tree. So I guess we should start by punching the tree. Get some wood. This might be quicker actually if I make a crafting table, so let's do that. <laughs> make our first crafting table and then we can make an axe. And then that way we can cut the tree down. <laughs> yes! Okay, so if I pop that there, I might actually move that and this for now. And now I think we can, yeah, can we craft this? Yeah, we can. Okay, awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me check my quest book. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we need this one, the Tablet of Mana Regeneration first. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So now we can do a ritual that converts nearby water sources into cobblestone. That is so cool. Okay, so we've got the Mana Regeneration. So we're putting this one in here and then we turn it on how cute is this oh my god i love these particles they're so cute i love it i love it i love it i love it okay cool oh i forgot to put my witch hat on oh my gosh i'm so silly ah look how cute i am oh i love it okay so do i want to extend out this island i think i will I'm gonna dig out a little bit of dirt, making sure that plenty of grass is growing as we go. Oh my gosh, it's getting dark already. Okay, I'll pop my chest there for a minute and put some of this stuff away. I do need to plant a new sapling now. So I guess I'll do that there. We need to place down... Oh, I can learn those actually. So I've got my tablet. Now this one I think needs to be surrounded by water. So I guess if I dig and pop that there, I think that should work. Okay, so we need to make a spell in our spell book. So if we do that one and then that one, this will be the water and create that. And then that one and that one is crush. And we create that. So now if we go to water, we can create water. How cool is... Oh, sorry. Need more mana. <laughs> and then light it. Oh, we're going to have to make more water sources. Okay. And now if we crush... We get sand or gravel. Interesting. Okay. So I probably should make a pickaxe to get some cobble. So our first wooden pickaxe. Ooh, and then we can get gravel as well to make more dirt. That's exciting. Yay, Stone Age. Probably could even straight away just make a stone pickaxe because that will be faster. <laughs> yeah. So now if we... I might put that there actually. Ooh, we got some stuff from crushing. Ooh, is that iron? <gasps> Five iron nuggets. Let's go. Then we can also dig up a little bit of sand. Why not? Ooh, gold. That's cool. I probably should also make a shovel. <laughs> it might be a bit faster. So this is basically like a cobble gen and a resource machine 
like all in one, which is really, really cool. So we get our stone, gravel and sand from it. And then also like different minerals and stuff like that, like ores and things, which is pretty cool. Ooh, one thing I should make actually, I'll get a little bit more stone because then we can make a furnace and we can smelt a little bit of logs to get charcoal to make torches. That might help um, the tree or like the grass grow faster as well. Oh my god, look how cute we are with our witch hat and our spell book and all this magic happening. Oh, we're so cute. What is next? Let's have a look. So we've got iron nuggets from crushing stuff. Oh, we got a stone shovel. That's cool. Okay. Oh, so you'll need seeds. So the frost balls can be composted, right? And they grow on the logs. Okay, so we can do that. That's easy. And then we also need to smelt copper, wood and stone to get XP. Nice. Okay. I can use some logs actually to smelt for a little bit. We can smelt up this raw copper we've got and then we can also get some of the frost balls growing. So then it also wanted us to make a composter. So if I make some slabs and I can pop that down and then a few logs to get our little frost things growing. I am going to keep mining a little bit more cobble and also crushing for some resources and I'll be back in a minute. One thing I have no idea how we're gonna do is get a bed and don't know if we're low enough. No, we are still on level 64. So that means that phantoms are going to start spawning, I think, tomorrow night. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go with that. Maybe I should craft a sword. <laughs> okay, I've been harvesting some cobble and turning it into slabs so that I can go down here carefully without falling in. And I'm slowly turning this area underneath our island into well, a little slab area so then I can get rid of like all of this to use elsewhere which I think will be awesome um, and we can bone mill these frosty balls yeah and maybe even a couple of saplings yay all right so if I pop that back now we have bone meal Yes! Oh, look how cute the flowers are. Now we just need some seeds, please. Oh, we got one. Okay, awesome. Oh, and some more. Oh my god! I just got a diamond! No way! I was not expecting that. We got our first diamonds! Let's go! Yes! Okay, the sun is rising, so I think I might move our little tree farm, keeping everything centered. So we're just going to build out a little walkway. We'll go seven. Oh, and a big tree's already grown. <laughs> so this is where I'll start my circle, and this won't be the forever tree farm. It's just going to be like a temporary little spot that we'll probably use for something different in the future. Beautiful, and we'll pop that one there. The sun is rising on another day, and I think the next circle we're gonna build is gonna be our farming area. So I'm gonna get started on that right now. Awesome. Okay, I might make a bit more of the coarse dirt, and then when we hoe it to turn it into farmland it will turn back into normal dirt oh my god what is that i didn't even think to light up the island is it hostile what is that oh my gosh what no <gasps> it was a wild and whoa that's wild <laughs> Ah, uh, no pun intended. Oh my god, there's another one! Ah! <laughs> oh no, now there's phantoms. Where'd it go? Ah! Ooh, nice. And 
I need to craft more torches, but I needed more charcoal. So we'll quickly do that. Okay, now we have heaps of torches. Awesome. Don't mind me just, whoa, nearly falling off the edge. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <sighs> okay, so I need to do some water sources. So one, two, three, um, yeah, I'll do one here actually. And then if we turn our book back onto the water, that goes there. And my hose about to break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done it so close to the edge, but that'll have to do for now. <laughs> Get some wheat growing. Yeah, that's a start. <laughs> it's not much, but it'll do. Okay, so now that we've got our little crop field started, I know it's not much yet, but it'll it'll get there. <laughs> we have our little tree farm. So let's now have a look at our quest book again and see how we're going. So yeah, we can get tick that one off. We can tick that one off, which gives us more XP. And then looks like we can craft a scribes table and glyph of craft. So let's give that a go. So we can craft a scribes table. Awesome. Um, yeah, I guess that'll do. <laughs> so now I think if we click on it and we want to do that one, but I need a crafting table as the recipe. So I think if I, yeah, throw it on there and it does the little animation. Woo! <laughs> Look at us making spells kind of, I guess. So now if we learn that one, we can unlock this. Awesome. So that unlocks a lot of these now and also some other stuff. So we'll tick that off and then up here we have the imbuement chamber. So how do we make that? Planks and gold ingots. Okay, we can do that easy. So I'll make a few more planks and then we can also make a fair few of those because we've got heaps of gold nuggets and imbuement chamber. I might move it later, I'm not sure. And then if we check here, place lapis or amethyst in the impugment chamber and wait. Okay, I think we have some lapis on it. Yeah, we do. Pop that in there. And we've got our first gem. Ooh, that's so exciting. Okay, so now if I check here, we can tick this one off and get some more of those. That's awesome. And that opens up some more quest trees. So we need to make three of those, but we need source stone. And to make source stone, it is stone around a source gem. Okay, so I've got some lapis. We may as well get those cooking up. Okay, what if we try the mage light one because that just needs a torch and a lantern and also I just got three diamonds that is wild like that's not even including the ones I already had so do I have enough to make uh yeah I do so let's make a lantern yeah so let's do this one so we do that and also that yeah yes Oh, that's so cool. So now I don't have to use ugly torches. So I can go boom, boom. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I'll put some up there. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, it's the next morning, but I didn't get to do anything overnight because like at least six phantoms kept spawning and I was not in the mood to fight them. <laughs> they just kept coming and I just am not equipped for that. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can get string for a bed or a bed. I'm not really sure. So I guess I'll check around here. Just make sure nothing here is gonna like give me the means of getting a bed. I guess this could theoretically Right, flax seeds, can that make string? Craft wheat seeds with a manipulation essence for flax seeds. Okay, so maybe we should continue on this path. Oh, there's some ash, I think, from a burning phantom. Moved my compost over here because I thought that made sense. So we need three pedestals though, so I have to make sure we have enough for three. I have enough for two. 
two and then I'll need to make some more of the source stone. Okay so let's make the last pedestal and that will go... <laughs> that should be okay there I think. We need the manipulation essence so it's a stone button, a clock and a redstone a dust. So I think it was the clock there, button and then a piece of redstone. So it's going pretty slow but eventually I think we will be powering it slightly differently. So we'll just wait for this one and see how it goes. Ah, oh, so close. Yes, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna hide down here while I read what we've got to do next. <laughs> so pop that and that in there and we got flax seeds. That's so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and then that was giving me some extra ones. So let's like try and sneak up here and plant them without dying to phantoms. All right. So while that's cooking, or well, cooking, growing, <laughs> we'll have a look over here. So an enchanting apparatus. Okay. We can do that even though it's pretty expensive, but that's fine. Four more pedestals, hectic and a core. All right. Um, so we're going to need to get more stone cooking up for sure. So I needed a diamond for one of them. One of those. A. <laughs> and then we also needed a core. Oops, that's right. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so we need to also make an agronomic source link. I think we could do that. And a source jar. Can I make the agronomic thing? Yes. So now we can make a sauce jar. Awesome! Oh, it feels so good to tick things off. So if I put that like there, and we'll just like pop that there. Okay, what have we got left? So I'll do a little bit of this. Oh, we want our um, flax seeds to grow. That's what we're doing. Okay. And now I can make, okay, yeah. So make that into string. I think I need more. Things are starting to pick up pace a little bit though. We've got two little gardens going, that's good. We've got things happening over here. Okay, so we need to set up the enchanting apparatus and the core. And we've got four pedestals. So I think that needs to go on there and then I assume the four pedestals go around it. Think like that. So it's currently raining and it's getting dark but we can finally craft a bed I think. So if I yes okay so I've been um, farming a fair bit of the flax uh, and you can turn that into string, which string you can turn into wool, which is amazing. So I just need a few logs and we should be able to finally sleep because the phantoms have been so annoying. <laughs> ah, yeah, sweet dreams advancement made. Let's go. Ow. <laughs> oh, that is so good. So now the phantoms can leave us alone and we can have a nice sunny day again. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, okay, so we were working on a few things here. Oh, I think we can do this actually. Yeah, so if I put four of those and a seed in the middle, I don't have a seed on me currently. I'll just pop those there and go see if I can grab a wheat seed and now if I put that in there it looks like something's happening <laughs> oh, such a cool animation and sound no way ah so we got a mage bloom seed oh that's so exciting sorry little flax seed you are being moved over there and now we wait for this mage bloom seed to grow. See what happens. <laughs> Got two bone meal, so I think I'm gonna use it on the mage bloom. Hey, oh, it's so pretty. 
so that just gives us one of the flowers so we need four fibers oh and that gives us the four okay awesome so i just need to create another uh, scribes table as well so now i should be able to make that and then it was i think was it like this yeah oh that's exciting okay i guess i'll pop it like okay that way i guess <laughs> that's fine and then we've unlocked we've got blank thread and a book i'm still waiting for some more mage bloom mage blooms to grow but i am a silly goose so i've just been like looking at all of these trying to tick all these off but i didn't realize over here there's like a whole other like quest lines <laughs> so there's like the hex casting one which i can tick off had no idea so now we've got a hex notebook and i have to figure out what to do there and there's wizzy's bistro so i can like make food and stuff so i didn't realize but i have to make a market and then i can like buy things and then i think there was also um like gear and equipment and i think oh island creation so this is gonna be super 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 helpful yeah so we can like fully conjure islands now which is amazing i definitely need to do this oh but it's getting dark um oh there's just so much to explore so let's try and make another island tablet of conjure island cascading so yeah we can do that one for sure if I place that there and use this, I'm a bit scared. Oh, I needed the jar of, uh, okay. I'm a silly Billy, but that's okay. How full is this jar? 29% full. All right, well, <laughs> that's ready for us when we get the jar over there. So that's fine. One thing we can do actually is get a sapling and a piece of the manipulation essence. And I'm pretty sure maybe, oh yeah. So we can make a flourishing archwood sapling. So that's like a new type of tree. And I think we need that to unlock another island type. So that is exciting. So if I plant this one down instead we'll get another tree type and we've got some bone meal so let's see if we can get this flourishing archwood to grow hey that's exciting okay make sure we get lots of the saplings while i've been waiting for the source jar to fill up i've actually fixed down here quite a bit so we can actually use it as like a proper storage room now um, i haven't moved these slabs down and i can't get rid of these ones because that's where the water is um for our little crushing area so let's check our source jar and it's ready to go oh i think i need a better pickaxe first though actually okay so if we pop this here oh my gosh wow Wow, this is so cool. Look how cute this is. Oh my God, I was doing it wrong this whole time. <laughs> so some of that water is slowly falling away, but it looks like there's still just a few little waterfalls, which is still cute. And it means that we have little coral areas which is so cute oh and sea pickles that's so exciting and we can finally use sugar cane oh my gosh okay so i think i want to get rid of this tree here and we will build like a little bridge area this is so cute stop it look how cute this area is i made a little grass bridge and we have just a little stone cobble bridge there going over we've got squid and fish and everything ah it's so cute and there's even like the little sirens swimming around the little mermaids 
Ah, except this, some of the squids and fish keep like getting out of the little water and dying. So I did get a few ink sacs that way. I decided to get rid of any of the water sources that were kind of like glitching out into the void. Oh, except I've missed one. Okay, well, I'll have to fix that one. But it was making me kind of sad um, that so many fish and little mermaids were like falling down into the void that was spawning in there. But look how cute and pretty this island is. Oh, um mobs gonna be spawning over there yes they are which isn't necessarily a bad thing oh except for that creeper oh my god the zombies are scary okay we're gonna have to kill this creeper without dying no ah, no oh my god there's two no no oh my god there's more okay um abort 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 ah Okay, I really should have lit that up. That was an oversight on my part. <laughs> oh, and they blew big holes in everything. Okay, well at least the zombies will burn. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, now there's a skeleton over there. No, stop. <laughs> okay, well that's... Oh, that scared me, it's an octopus. No, don't! Ah, oh, blow up. This is not going well. <laughs> okay, I've patched up all of the dirt, so now I probably should use my light um, spell to... Nope, not that one, that one. To light up this area. Because we do not want that happening again. <laughs> okay. And now I think we'll put down our market stall. I'm not sure exactly where the middle is. Oh my god. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> Are you good, bro? So we swap stuff, I guess. Okay, I need to swap emeralds. All right, that's fine. Saplings. Oh, I got an arrow. That's exciting, actually. <laughs> Let's check if that ticked off anything in here. It did. Okay. So, exchanges emeralds for otherwise unobtainable seats. So we've got a task screen and one emerald. <laughs> so, what should we buy? Should I buy food or a sapling? Okay, I'm going to keep my emerald because I need to think about that more. <laughs> Um, I was just over here crushing to get more resources and some um, sand to make some glass and I just heard a little chicken over here has spawned. That is wild. So I need some seeds and we'll try and get it to follow us somewhere I guess. I'm not sure where I want to put the animals yet. Oh no, where did the chicken go? Chicken? Oh, it's right. It's there. Come here. Thank you. No, in here. Good job. Okay. Of course, just as I hit record, it starts raining. <laughs> but I think we're ready to craft another um, of the archwood tree types. So if we do that and that, we get the vexing archwood sapling, which is super, super exciting. And then I'm going to plant it there and bone meal it. Hopefully it'll grow. Yes. Okay. And then we'll collect all of that up. Now, if we check our quest to get the vexing island, we just need a sapling, a log and a diamond. And then we should be able to craft. Yes. Okay. So exciting. And I'll grab a little bit of dirt as well. So I've cleared this little area off and started the like pathway for it. We just need to build out 14. Oh, try not to fall off. So we'll pop the ritual brazier there and turn that on. And then if I pop this there and turn it on. Oh, wow. Ah, it's so cool! Look at the mushrooms! Oh my gosh, that's so good! And I'll make sure to light everything up properly this time. 
Ooh, and we get Bastion Fruit. I wonder what that does. That sounds explosive. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's lit up enough. So we can pick some mushrooms. I'll have to make shears so I can get some of these cobwebs. I'll leave some of them around the edges, but they are kind of annoying, so I'll get rid of some of them. And also, they just are cool to have. So now I think also, if I check to do this one now, I think... Oh wait, we can already do that one. Yeah, okay, well we'll make that one next as well. So we can make that one. Awesome, I'll just have to grab some slabs to build our little pathway out. So while I'm waiting for the source jar to fill up, we can have a look at this one because we can make this one probably next, but we need to do the blazing archwood sapling, which is the manipulation essence and one of the purple saplings. So I can go grab that stuff now. Now let's have a go at growing this one. And now we should be able to make the last tablet. So we've got two ready to go. We're just <laughs> still waiting for this source jar to fill up. It goes pretty slow. I probably should like grow some more plants around it or something. I was just over there hanging out with my chickens when I came over here and look what spawned. <gasps> we have mushroom cows. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need... Oh, please don't fall off. You guys can have a baby. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, I need to go grab my fence um, posts and some more wheat. Oh no, one of them died on the bush. <gasps> no. No. Okay, we still got the baby. Um, quick, okay. Stay over here. Can't believe two just died on the berry bushes. No, come back. Stay in here. Oh no, and now there's phantoms. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, <laughs> not me panicking because my cows were dying. Okay, I am ready to summon the next island. I'm so excited. I have the brazier. I have a full soul source drop and I've got the tablet. So let's go. Ah, it's so exciting. Whoa, that's so cool! Oh my gosh. Oh, no way, Spore Blossoms! Whoa, this one might be my new favorite. Do I have my shears? I do have my shears. I can pick some of these berries, but then also shear some of that. I'm gonna grab. Oh <gasps> no! <laughs> Damn it! I was not expecting that to fall down there just then. Oh, I'm so sad. So I want to cut down this tree because it's kind of in my way. Oh, this is so cool. There's melons as well. Oh, and azaleas. This is just so cute. I love it. So let's go check on the next source jar. Oh, so close. Okay, because we're nearly ready to do the last of like the initial islands. So I'm going to have to tear down everything over there. But for now, I think I'll just empty my pockets. So I'm going to have to take down all of these plants and move everything out of the way so we can grow a new island. Okay, I'm ready for the next island. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'll do that. Pop that in. And here we go. Wow. That is so cool. Oh, we got sunflowers. And it looks like I don't even really need to light this one up because it's already got the mage lights because it's a... I guess I'll add a few more just in case. But it already has a few. And the lava will help light things up as well. Look how cute everything is. Ah, oh, I'm obsessed. 
Oh no. Buddy, your llama. One of them's dangling. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> and I think that's where I'm going to leave today's episode. Next episode, we're going to build some little mini islands in between the four big ones to put back some of the farms that I took down when I built the last island. And hopefully that way we will be getting more source um, to our agro source link thing and the jars to speed up some of our um, little witchy processes. <laughs> I've had so much fun in this first episode. Thank you all so much for being here and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.